I'm great. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> struggling okay so <sighs> I barely got it together I barely got it together um I edited the video I, well, I didn't have too many more edits to do I recorded a voiceover now the issue is my macbook when it starts to process a lot of things going on um it'll make like this really loud wind sound and so the entire audio in the video like of my voiceover is straight wind and I hate that I hate that so I'm just like okay I'm gonna re-record it which I hate to do um because I did it in two takes I did like the first like 15 seconds and the rest I just said forget it we just gonna uh <laughs> do it however it comes out because y'all I was tired like I feel better now but I was super tired this morning like I was not making it so it still wasn't working um and i'm so i tried to use my this is the first rode mic i ever tried um to use with my camera and it didn't work i ended up having to get another one um but i was like you know i still have this let me use this so i can get better quality audio girl like i cannot win <laughs> so i tried to connect it through the 3.5 jack on my laptop but it wouldn't process the mic as an input audio device so i'm like you know what i'm gonna go to apple since i already have things to do at the mall i'm just gonna go to apple i need to back to max some some old like plastic makeup stuff and then i also had to go to sephora add returns and purchases because as always so i was like let me just do a really quick mall trip be in and out grab lunch come back and finish the video upload it it might be like a later upload but it'll still go up today even just talking about it just stressed me out like oh my god so i did all that came back almost ripped my thumb apart with scissors trying to open a damn packaging didn't realize i just had to like <laughs> pull the tab to pull the plastic part I, the point is i'm not making it right now and i just bought the little adapter thingy thinking that this was the issue and honey it's still not reading the mic I changed the batteries, the mic is pop. It registers the mic as an output device, which doesn't even make any sense, but not input. And that is very frustrating for me. So I need to figure out what the heck I need to do. And then I also had to exchange my, my keyboard because the touch ID part wasn't working. I haven't tested it out yet, but I just feel like the way everything's going today, it's not gonna work either. Like. I'm trying to think, what do I need to do that would make me need to... What if I lock my screen? Um, lock screen, yeah, and then try to open it, unlock it. See? It's, it's not working. Like, what the heck? Oh, but brother. Yeah. Uh, Y'all, I am stressed out. Cause like, why? First of all, why do I need thirteen adapters? I had to get an adapter to use my adapter for the adapter for the adapter to adapt to the mic. Like, I. <sighs> but then I really didn't need all that, so I connected the adapter that I purchased for nine dollars. Connected it, and it's still not working. So, <sighs> Google didn't help me before, but let me see if I can figure it out. Let me see, Rode Video Mic not working with macbook pro what is that 2020 i'm about 2021 close enough connect your extra mic okay no i don't want to see nothing about no pc mac specifically it's like what the hell is the actual problem bro like oh oh the love you love me baby uh -uh. so is misconfigured sound output input you should see this device is yes yes why isn't my mic showing up as an input device that's not go to your settings input like are you dumb this is if the question is why isn't my mic showing up as an input device on mac 
And your response is to just go check to see if it's listed as an input device. If I'm telling you it's not showing up as an input device, then I already did this process. So how is that the end? Y'all, if it is not being recognized, you may need a TRS to TRRS adapter to make finally something. Damn, another adapter, bruh. Are you kidding me? What even is this? Yeah, that was a hell of a... All right, y'all. I don't think this video is not going out today. Like, there's no way. There's no way. I'm like, unless I go back to Apple and see if they have one. Oh my God. I don't have any today. It's already 4.30. I have other things I need to edit today. Well, I, apparently I could take my time now. Because I was supposed to start editing my vlog so that can go up tomorrow. But if this is not going up today, I can post today's video tomorrow. And then I guess we'll, that's just going to push out, push a video out to the sea. Y'all. <laughs> mm. Like, this is actually frustrating. Let me see if I can, like, connect through, like, chat or something. You may me feel I'm so loud so loud. you made me oh Carissa please <laughs> damn 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 y'all I've been trying so hard not to regret this purchase and keep trying to make it work for me, but like she, she really like, she's really not about my life. Oh, oh, maybe I should try that. Um, I'm gonna connect my AirPods and try to do it that way. <sighs> Once again, just gotta do the most. So. And make it better see and look how just easily it just sit uh, like i see what apple was doing like i see what y'all doing okay all right so let's see if that'll work as input <sighs> okay so it's, it's either the mic or i need that adapter um let me just because i'm like i don't also want to keep using my AirPod pro so let's see Anyways, let me figure out my life and I'll, I'll get back to y'all. Like, I gotta get ready to film. I already smell good. I don't know about y'all, but like, when I'm about to record, I have to spray perfume because I feel like it gives me a confidence boost. When I have a confidence boost, I, um, I, uh, perform better. Um, also, I bought Matt Kenny Yum Yum today. But I'm also already wearing BDK Gris Chanel. So I think adding this fruity top perfume situation is gonna give me the vibes. It's gonna give me the vibes. Mmm. This is a real juicy perfume, like almost childlike, but like once it kind of settles down. I feel like some of that, some of the adolescence lifts and you're just left with a really juicy, fruity fragrance. Now I need a lip gloss. <laughs> That's the preparation for me. Y'all, I have so many things to show y'all. It's so much. I'm about to say something in the next video. Because sometimes I feel like my whole uh, vlog would be nothing but hauls. Because like I said, I went to Mac, to back to Mac some things. I went to Sephora. I went to um, Dollar Tree, which is basically five below. <sighs> Y'all, lunch was so good. I went to that little Greek place again, and they had this fire juice. Oh! Delicioso. Hey, gems. It's your Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another 
video. So today we are going to be doing a get ready with me shy routine, eggplant, a spicy uh, adult Netflix and chill D appointment edition. Y'all know what it is already. <laughs> Hey Gems, it's Girl Mr. Bima, and we are back at the game for the video. It sounds like flat. Not the memory card saying zero minutes. Hold on. Wait, you call me stupid? No, my friend, I say you look good. I don't, um, I don't remember my ironing board being this low like uh, does this not go up anymore it was always this low sheesh um but yeah i need to iron this set really quickly i featured this set in my monthly reset vlog as one of those fits that i need to make sure i wear sometime this month and i figured why not make it content because it's super cute, you know? But for me to wear shorts like this out, I feel like it needs to be a very specific occasion where I'm not going to be sitting on plastic seats or doing too much walking so it doesn't ride up. <laughs> and I'm just like, what kind of occasion can I wear this to? You know? But you're really cute, though. So, All right. is this even on? Is this plugged in? All right. It's both. And there is no water. What is there is? All right. Y'all, yeah, I have not ironed in so long. I hope the camera doesn't fall. But I have a pretty full day ahead of me. Um, I need to um, take some pictures, even though I don't know how well that's going to go because it just started raining. Um, it just started raining. After that, I'm going to Rainbow. I have to do some purchasing for a haul. And I'm going to go to Ikea. And I'll probably have like an early dinner or something. But yeah, anyways. I just, you know what? I just need you to be good enough for the content. Because, like, it's not even that deep. Like, it's not even that deep. I'm about to wear you out for real. Not today, because I have too much running around to do. You know, this would be a really cute look. Um, iron is not all the way hot yet, but I'm impatient. And I'm also starving. I really want a breakfast burrito from this restaurant called Sunny's. Sunny's Breakfast, Sunny's Burritos. I used to get it all the time when I was living in Virginia. And I found it out here and I've ordered it a couple times out here as well. And I actually prefer it out here. Like, <laughs> baby, them burritos hit. Um, but they have different locations and I realized that the different locations sell different cuts of meat. Like one of them only has red meat and the other one has turkey and chicken sausage, I believe. So, and I'm like, I thought their hours were weird. Like. I tried to order some one day and it was like only open on Sunday. I don't know, it was some weird. But actually, let me see if it's open now because I have to order it now. I want it to be here anytime soon. Oh, oh it is open. Oh. Oh my God. Is this the one I want though? This is the red meat location. Darn. No, they have chicken sausage. They also have to, okay, this is the, the turkey and chicken sausage location. <laughs> Thought it was in your face. Okay, so perfect. All right. Oh my God, not me starting off to an amazing morning. Y'all, I'm so excited. Yes. Okay. 
Oh, that's perfect. See, and I feel like because I cut back, what are all these taxes and fees? What are you talking about? Oh, there's a delivery fee. Darn it. I'm so used to shopping um, food places that have free delivery. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Um, I'm not ordering that because part of my mission to stop ordering out is to stop wasting money and for something that costs how much was that burrito but basically by the time you tack on all the fees and all the upcharges and stuff you're paying so much more for the food and it's just like it's it's kind of worth it but it's not worth it you know i mean it's, it's kind of worth it because it, i know the food's gonna be good but it's like it's not worth it i mean but it is worth it though because time is money but i mean technically i have time now because i i was gonna take the pictures outside but it's raining and I only have two outfits planned. Y'all, starch is really that girl. Like, are you ironing if you're not using starch? <laughs> I feel like it just does what no amount of steam can do. Like, that's the one thing I could say my stepmama taught me. The one thing I could say my, well, my ex-stepmother taught me was how to iron. Anyways, well, I did learn a few other things, I guess, <laughs> what not to do. Anyways, moving on. You just learned to appreciate like a nice, well ironed shirt on a man. Just clothes in general, with like the pleats. Like I hate ironing, and I feel like if I had a partner, that wore buttons up, buttons up, button ups and stuff. Like that's probably something I would outsource. Cause like honestly, who has that time and patience? I hate ironing. And every now and then, okay, but like, let's say you have an office job, you have to wear a button up every day. It's giving dry cleaners. <laughs> it's giving housekeeping, paying an extra charge to also have them iron. Because I, like I just, I just can't. <laughs> I can't. Like, first of all, this is too low. This would be a little more comfortable if it was higher and I wasn't like hunched over like this because my back is already starting to hurt. But, um, it's just, there's just certain things where I'm just like, bruh. I gotta, I gotta find a way to make this money by tomorrow. Damn, TikTok is so funny. But I gotta find a way to make this money by tomorrow. Like, the kind of life that I want. Um, I'm just very big on convenience. Because I always say this, I'm the laziest, hardworking person I've ever met. Like, But the reason I feel like I'm able to work so hard in other departments is because I thrive in convenience. And so I make things as convenient for me so that I'm not dissuaded when it comes time to do the work. If that makes sense. I was telling a friend um, about how... <laughs> don't drag me now. I'm having an honest, open moment with y'all, so don't come for me. But how um, I used to never record content in like my living room because I never wanted to take down my lighting and camera setup from the one room and put it in another because especially if you're tired and y'all know I'm permanently tired like I exist in a constant state of fatigue so when you're already tired and you look you don't even want to do something when you have obstacles in front of you you're so not gonna do it you know um it just makes it that much harder as opposed to if something is already set up or ready for you to go if you can just muster up enough will and determination to just get to that task and there's nothing stopping you, you're more likely to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I never, I never take down, I don't move, I don't do anything to my filming setup. And that's why I had a, a very... <laughs> I 
like I'm a stickler about my filming setup because um, when I need to film, I need to be able to be in and out. Like if I have to constantly like adjust this or move this or do this or redo this and do this, I'm like the little energy I have is already going to be gone just from setting up. I'm not gonna have anything left for the actual video. And so that's why I have multiple ring lights. It's why I have um, multiple setups where I can literally just get up and go because convenience is crucial to my productivity. And maybe, maybe it is because I'm always tired. Like I wonder if I felt normal, would I be like this? And I probably would, I don't know if I would be to this degree that like, y'all is bad. But you know, there are certain investments, like it might seem wasteful to some people, but I can honestly and genuinely say that those little investments have truly played a big role into why I'm able to do the amount of work that I get done. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I have multiple tripods, I have multiple lights, like I'm not playing. I'm really not playing. Like, it's why I bought a GoPro. So, like, I wasted so much time dreading recording that video. And it's crazy because I really wanted the video. But just the process of recording a, a, a shower routine. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. So, having multiple angles recording at the same time will help to make that a little easier. And in the long run, it'll be better for me because I am able to do the videos more often. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not telling y'all to go out and buy 13 cameras and 16 tripods now. Okay? For the average Joe, it is absolutely not necessary and it is very wasteful. Like, I actually use my stuff. Okay? Don't be out here spending tons of coins. And also keep in mind that I've been at this for quite a few amount of years like i started recording content in 2009 granted i wasn't serious serious well let me not say i wasn't serious about it i bought my first camera my first dslr it was a nikon d200 it was nice and I had a couple weeks and it was stolen and i was hurt and then it, it took me a while to recover from that the emotional trauma as well as of course the the amount of money i i I say it for months to buy that camera. Just to not even. So I always think like, you know, if I if I had if I hadn't had the camera stolen, like how far I'd be right now. Or even if I had just kept going with crappy content, how far I'd be right now. Like not letting little things deter me. You know, but it's okay. It is what it is. It's part of my journey. And what I've learned from everything is just that do it now. Don't wait for perfection. Perfection will come. If ever. <laughs> I don't know. But being better will come. And that's just always going to be a constant thing. So, like I said, and as y'all can see, I don't press too much on perfection. Um, but I do want improved quality over time. So, and that's why I feel like I'm being a little hard on myself about the quality of um, the voiceover for that video because it's like certain things, there needs to be an increase in quality, you know? Like, it's just, I've been doing subpar quality in that department for long enough. It's time to step it up. I didn't say perfection. I, I didn't buy a $3,000 mic uh, with the whole like setup and stuff like that. I just got me a little $50 jump. Well, I got three different mics to test out, but they're all under $50 and whichever ones I don't keep, I'm going to return. And, you know, it's just like gradual improvement and that's okay. And that is okay. Not me running the wall with a start. Y'all got that... Jimmy. Anyways, um, that is your unwarranted pep talk for this morning that nobody asked for. Um, so yeah, all right, cool beans. Um, so I think I'm gonna pair it with this brown top. Um, I'm not sure yet though. It's a little, little titty top. This top barely covers anything, but you know, we move.
All right. Something about a freshly ironed outfit just, oh my God, it hits. Like, ugh. Wow. That's nice. That's real nice, baby. Real nice. All right. I need to finish drinking my damn oxy shred and vinegar. I had this since seven this morning. It's 10 o'clock and I've had one sip. <laughs> um, all right. Dang, it's already 10. Wow. I was moving way too slow this morning. <sighs> the rain didn't help though. I was definitely taking my time a little bit. I was hoping my, um, my mics would be here by now. So that I can like hurry up and re-record the voiceover. Um, it's a 7 to 11 a.m. delivery window. But honestly, a lot of times, I don't even get my overnight delivery stuff the same day. It'll be delayed or some nonsense. Like, it's so annoying. Things are just look different out here. Like, <laughs> different. But yeah, so these mics shouldn't need an adapter. They're allegedly, you can just plug it in and it's fine. And that's how I remember my other external mic being. So um, I still have the adapters on the way just to see um, if that was the case. Uh, if that was the issue, sorry, with um, the audio, if it was um, the adapter or if the issue is actually the mic itself. Um, yeah, so. Either way, uh, I have to figure out this mic situation. Y'all, yeah, I really be trying to force a reason to use this mic because I'm just like, I bought it and I couldn't use it for what I bought it for. I think I meant to return it and I forgot either that or they didn't accept returns. It was something. But um, for my specific camera, it didn't it didn't work. But it was the, the, the mic. It's, it's like the most recommended um road mic for like content creators and stuff so maybe i'll just try and sell it or something i don't know i actually have quite a few things like techie things that i could sell just because i'm not using them anymore and ever since i purchased my canon m50 i just feel like that camera encompasses um what i was using multiple cameras to do and so if i could find a remote to take pictures with that camera honestly i might sell all not all of my cameras but i'll keep my main like fashion content camera and i'll keep the m50 and i'll keep the sony this is what i use to to vlog um but i have like two three other cameras um some that i used to vlog with some that i used to record content with like and they're just sitting here so actually, yeah, maybe I'll make like a little creator bundle. Um, I don't know, but yeah, cause I'm just like, they're just here picking up dust and somebody else could be using them, you know? I'm also telling myself like, oh, you know, you never know. Or I'll use this on a shoot or blah, blah, blah. But I'm just like, why am I carrying around one camera to do photo shoots and stuff and I can just take my M50? Like, Anyways, I have some things to consider and ponder about, um, but I actually think that that is what I'm going to do. Um, I, I think this is the T6i, I have the Rebel T6i camera, I have the Canon G7 Mark, whatever vlog camera I used before this. Um, I have like a point and shoot, I mean, I don't know if anybody uses point and shoots anymore, but that's actually the camera I was using to record before I um, started buying DSLRs and stuff. Um, so that potentially this road mic, and I'm pretty sure the issue isn't the mic. I think it's, it's the freaking adapter because Apple makes everything so difficult. Like I don't want, I don't want to get into it anymore, but anyways, yeah. So I don't know. I'm trying to think. <gasps> oh. So after I was done the photo shoots, um, I went over to Rainbow and I didn't want to show you guys too much of what was happening over there because, of course, you guys, you know, got to save it for the haul, which should already be out by now. Um, and then 
I went to the beauty supply store. I was with Chelsea, by the way, and we were just looking at all these impressions, dupes, if you will. And it was just so funny because they had all the fake like Baccarats, the Creeds, the bot number nines. And then the names of these, like instead of Creed, it was Keed. <laughs> And I got me some blushes from Nika K, some more Ruby Kisses blush, uh, not blushes, lip glosses. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a stan. And I had to put my girl on too, cause I'm a real friend. Girl, you tried to use Ruby Kisses glosses? I swear by them. I feel like it is my duty to put you on if you don't know, okay? At this point, make me Ruby Kisses ambassador. And I was too hyped to snag these tube socks. I've been looking for socks like this forever. And I feel like they're gonna make my gym outfits more popping. Y'all, look at the shade. Not closed on Sunday. That is a shady chicken sandwich name. Like, not y'all coming for Chick-fil-A's neck. I'm crying. But we just hopped into this little restaurant here to grab a bite to eat before going our separate ways. And it was just too funny. First of all, the options though were plentiful, okay? They have all the flavors for every kind of meat, poultry, everything. Like it was a little wild. Um, but yeah, that was it. The food was all right. It was just all right. But this burger is ridiculous. Like, look at it. That thing was like three feet long. <laughs> you guys have apple pie? Yeah. Thank you. Dunkin' Donuts matcha is better than Starbucks. Um, I don't know if I agree. It's good. I did my regular Starbucks order. You know, coconut milk, a pump of um, vanilla syrup, espresso shots. And I think I could have used a second pump of vanilla syrup. And I'm a little shocked from saying that because I usually don't like too sweet. Um, I can get used to this though. It's fine. I like it. I don't order it again. But it is less sweet than... I think that the coconut milk at Starbucks is sweetened. I think because I noticed that when I get coconut milk in drinks, in my matcha drink, one pump of vanilla is just lightly sweet. No, it is sweet. What am I saying? It is sweet, yeah, it is sweet. But when I get oat milk, the one pump tastes similar to this. Yeah, so I think the vanilla might be sweetened at Starbucks, as opposed to I think the coconut here. What are, did I say coconut? Excuse me. All right. <laughs> like, at this point, I'm just going to be quiet. My GPS isn't even on. All right. Bye. I'm a little shiny. Um, I'm not going to do anything about it right now. So, you're just going to have to look at me be shiny. Uh, first things first. Um... It's very sad for me to say, but I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to the Dr. Teal's body oil. Because every time I use it, I get these little white bumps on my chest. <laughs> and I don't like that because I really like that oil. It smells really good. <sighs> Makes me very sad. Makes me extremely sad, actually. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys some of the fall decor that I've purchased in the past two weeks, week, two weeks. Um, let's just, let's just see what I got. 
Okay, so we may or may not have a, what? Not the, uh, not all three open. Child, listen, anyways. So I went to Dollar Tree and Marshalls. I went to Marshalls first. And then I went to Dollar Tree the other day. So let's go in order, actually. Cause why not? Um, today is the 16th, 17th. So I purchased these last week, maybe the week before last. So I'm a little early, but I don't care. So I think, I think we're doing a white fall. Um, just because the hardware in the kitchen is silver, so I kind of want to keep with that theme. But I think I am going to get something orange just to add some, um, not the pearl already uh, coming off, but just to add a pop of color. Damn, this is expensive. Ooh, $16.99, but it's so pretty, y'all. Like, look, can you see like the iridescent shine? Like, it's so pretty. Um, so I got that, and my go-to pumpkin candle is usually Walmart's Mainstay or Better Home. And I don't know what's going on, but I try to look um, for candles to see if they can deliver some, and I'm not seeing them. And Walmart is notorious for fall scented candles like eight months out of the year. So what's going on? I need to go in store and see what the heck is going on. <sighs> but I did pick this one up. It's just pumpkin donut. The brand DW. I actually really like this brand. This smells delish. Oh, y'all. Because I already burned through uh, most of this. And now that I can't find this anymore. Oh, this is Chesapeake Bay, actually. Vanilla pumpkin. This smells so good. It's so fragrant. And it's the only thing that covers the smell of curry because I made curry chicken like a week ago and the apartment still smells like curry. <laughs> it's the only thing that's strong enough to cover it. Um, and I got two of those DW candles. And I got to stock up now while, while I have a chance before y'all buy them out. Okay. And then I purchased this pumpkin here, which is more clear. Like, hello. And like, look how like the stem looks. It's almost giving like spooky vibes, but in the best way. I love it. Ah! So y'all can't even see, hold on. Y'all, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Um, and I bought some more makeup sponges. Y'all, that damn bubble is really $16.99. I guess a smaller one is $14.99. Sheesh! Sheesh! <laughs> All right. Is that at the Marshalls? Done! What did I buy? Where did my money gone? Is that really it? Done! All right, so from Dollar Tree, well, first I got this really cool. Well, let's talk about how Dollar Tree isn't even Dollar Tree anymore. It's five Dollar Tree. It's spin your whole check tree, okay? And I can tell the difference in the price because most of the time when you buy things like this from Dollar Tree, it's battery operated, whereas this actually has like a plug-in situation. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this at my desk just to make it like vibey when I'm working um, on a computer late at night. Um, cause like you can change the colors and stuff. Y'all, y'all know I love a mood lighting situation, a vibe. So I'm like, why not bring the vibe to the office? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyways, got that. Um, I bought this shampoo brush because I'm obsessed with rubbing my own head since somebody's son won't do it. Um, like I have a scalp massager from Sephora and it is on the softer side. This is more like a brush brush and I feel like it's gonna brush and massage at the same time. So get the, I'm not gonna do it now, but get the waves popping. Love that. And I got two, one for each bathroom because I'm living soft life, okay? Soft life. 
I also picked up like some drinks and stuff just to try. This is a sparkling ice. This has caffeine in it and blue raspberry. Never tried it with caffeine, so we'll see. I got a regular cherry limeade ice, um, a Jelly Belly sparkling water. Never heard of this brand, but I hope it's good and very cherry. I really like red flavored things. <laughs> um, I also picked up some hand sanitizer because you can never have too much. The goal is just to have one in every bag, period. So I definitely ordered some more from uh, Amazon. And mm, I ordered, not ordered, I bought some uh, bar soap to take with me for my upcoming trip. And I purchased this wreath. I'm actually not gonna hang it on a door. I bought it to hang on this cutting board situation. Not hang, but I bought it to put like at on, hold on. The goal is to move all these candles because I don't know why they're all here, to be frank. Make sure my address ain't going on. Right. Yeah, so the goal is to clear this, put this down. Okay, see, it's, it's cute, it's vibey. And then, well, I might move this since if I have flower here. Well, maybe I'll do like a white flower here and I can just put like one or two candles. The candle's probably not gonna fit anymore, but the whole point is to make a like a more festive centerpiece situation. Um, and I think it's cute. I think um, because of the wiring, I'm pretty much confined to only the center of this. So I'll figure out what I wanna do with the center, but I really do like how the wreath looks on top of that. So keeping that, put you here somewhere. I definitely need to get some flowers. I'm gonna trade those. And then I bought more washcloths. Do I need more washcloths? Absolutely not. Like, <laughs> absolutely not. But I really wanted it for this orange color because fall. These are just cute. I feel like I'll grab one of these to travel and just use them as like disposable washcloths because I don't really like using like hotel washcloths. Um, so I could definitely use that for these. And it's just, it's vibes, okay? It's fall vibes. But not me thinking this haul is gonna be huge and it's not. That's it? I'm done? Uh -uh. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh God. Oh. so much into you. Now I'm always having new cups. Wait a minute. I need to dry them. off to get the girls done. They're looking a little crusty and dry. My cuticles always just, not just my cuticles, but I feel like, I don't know. They may just be looking crusty and I don't like that. So I'm about to get that done and then head home to get some work done. So the mics that I ordered, I came in late, finally delivered allegedly, so I can't wait to get those when I get home. So I was supposed to have a vlog go up today, but I didn't finish editing that. So what I do instead is finish the get ready with me video, upload that, finish editing the vlog later on, and have that ready to go tomorrow. So that's the plan. So hopefully things should be okay. I feel so bad. 
and they're like, oh my God, it's been a little weak, are you okay? And then I left it at such a terrible place with the whole Kim vlog after I had my little baby moment. And I feel bad cause like, I have my moments in the moment and then once it passes, y'all, like I'm great, like I'm fine. But then the vlog comes out <laughs> and then it's like, I'm not in that space anymore. But because the vlog is fresh, I just, I'll be feeling bad. Cause I'll be like, oh my God, I don't care. Okay, I'm like, girl, <laughs> last week, I'm great. <laughs> like, I'll be getting stuff. Well, I'll be getting over stuff relatively quickly. It might circle back again. But when I get over it, I'll be good. Just catch me next month or next time or next something. But for the moment, I'm great. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all, let me head to the nail spot. I had a busy day today. Um, I was running a little late. My barber was late because of traffic this morning. So it kind of like pushed my schedule back, but I had planned extra time in between just in case. And it really just be working out for me because, well, not really because I, I had to take out one errand. Okay, so it didn't work out then, what am I saying? So I'm like, oh, I have like extra time between my nail appointment, before my nail appointment. But no, you have extra time because you couldn't run that errand. So never mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now. <laughs> Cause at this point I'm dip hunting. So I'm gonna get friendship on the nails, the white on the toes. Cause I'm basic. What else is new? <laughs> so really quickly, um, I am trying to get out of here in the next, oh, two minutes. Not possible because I'm just on my face. <laughs> um, so I originally had a date for tonight. Um, and I, I'll maybe talk about this later, but I mean, it's not a big deal, but it was just annoying. Um, and I'm, I'm really turning into a woman that just... Once I'm starting to see things and notice things, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off. Like the whole, mm, let's see like how this plays out or give such and such a shit like let's just, no. Cause the only person's time that I waste is mine. So just to clarify this really quick statement that I made, um, I'm usually pretty understanding about people's situations just because everyone has their own lives and I can't expect everyone to just always be willing to accommodate or make time for me i guess you can say but then even you know what no and that's what i'm making like at this point no i don't care i don't care i don't care anymore i don't care i don't care i don't care make time for me or just keep it moving like i just i don't care anymore i'm tired of being understanding like i either you go out of your way to make time for me or you no okay that's it yeah no ain't nothing to clarify never mind continue like for real so um yeah, so long story short, I had picked out this restaurant to go to with this guy because um, he wouldn't pick something for us to do. So I was like, you know what? There's a South African restaurant that I've been wanting to go to ever since his camera's here. Um, and we had planned this so yesterday, the day before. Well, we started to plan. It was never concluded. Um, and by it never concluded, it was just like, we decided that, okay, we go to this restaurant. There was no follow-up, like, okay, th this is not about the, 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 the point is I'm going to a South African restaurant. <laughs> um, I feel like I said that really aggressively. My apologies if you felt attacked. Um, but yeah, so um, basically I went ahead and scheduled um, or made a reservation for one this morning. Cause I just, I felt in my spirit, it was gonna be a solo kind of night. Um, but then I was like in my bed, like reading comments and stuff and my bed started getting real comfortable. So I was like, I don't even want to go anymore. But the last minute I was like, you know what, Jalima, like get up and go, get up and go. Because what are you doing at home? Kicking your phone on TikTok, girl. I mean, I was waiting for my uh, video to upload, but still <laughs> like get up and go, get out. Um, so at the last minute, that's what I am doing. So I'm waiting for the, my video to finish uh, checking now. Um, I created the thumbnail and stuff. So literally I should just have to um, make it live and we should be good. It's already 8.30. Checks are still running. 
I'm gonna go ahead and make it live because it's it's eight thirty eight thirty like I oh you're the phone like <laughs> all right so let me just go ahead and make this live public publish all right okay so work is done for the day um and I'm just putting on a real simple face and apparently they have live music on Fridays and Saturdays so I just want to go like I made a reservation for one but depending on how the vibe is, I'm, I might set the bar, depending on like where the music setup is. And I'm just like, I'm gonna move to just enjoy like, maybe a couple glasses of wine, just sit back, relax, enjoy the vibe, and just be around people. Like, girl, you wanna stay in the bed so bad, like for what? So I got cute, put on a little dressy dress, put on a little perfume. I didn't go with sexy and alluring tonight. I went with fresh, um, but it smells really good. I'm wearing, um, Myth by Elvis Brooklyn. So yeah, so we're gonna really light beat, and we are going to hit the door. Okay, period. And I'm gonna enjoy my own company in the band. I need this beard to like. Ooh, I see. She's taking her sweet time to um. Like, that dark marker is marking. <laughs> um, and I don't know how close people gonna be in my face at the bar, so let me go ahead and cover this up. Uh, but yeah, so. Okay, we doing some. Ooh, it's not taking up. Okay, child, I don't have time for this. Like, we trying to be out. Like, even though I'm by myself, I still wanna be on time, you know? Oh, not, oh, not me pushing the contact. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. You know, it's like foundation who? Oh, I just realized. Uh, who the concealer and who the powder? I'm who it out. I'm who it out. <laughs> I missed a couple opportunities to go out last week. And I am not doing that this week. Like, to me, mom. Get out the house, please. Get out. Um. Yeah, so I am thoroughly enjoying outside life this weekend. And girl's been going to the gym, um, drinking her vinegar water in the morning. Like, definitely just put it back in the kitchen. I was done. <laughs> But you know, we're, we are doing what we need to do, okay? We are adulting. Um, why is my eye doing this? All right, go with a, little, a bronze. I was watching um, Keisha Collins, her vlog. Um, so I'm about to go back to watching that. I will either see y'all at the restaurant or in the car. We'll see. Probably the restaurant because I'm like, yeah, I actually really need to go, like, for real. Okay. Like, I just really, like, want to be out listening to music with a glass of wine. I don't know why. I just, I'm just really in that mood right now. And I'm like, 45 minutes ago, you was in the bed. Like, I don't want to. I want to stay. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't had wine in, like, what's the last time I had wine? I think the last time I did a, a mukbang, I did my African group mukbang. Um, and even then, like, I be feeling like I want a whole bunch. And then after I pour it, I be wasting the glass, y'all, because I'll be finishing it. I just wanted to show y'all I could fit a whole bottle in that glass. <laughs> but that's why I like I, I don't like opening bottles because if they lasted, that would be great. That's why you open a bottle, you have to finish it in a couple of days or a week or whatever. And I I very rarely finish a bottle that quickly. Like unless I'm drinking with somebody, that always helps, but I'm usually not. I don't usually drink in the house a long period unless it's for like content or whatever. Um, occasionally, if I'm like super anxious, a sip or two will calm me down, but 
yeah, I don't really drink the house alone. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy going out having a glass and not having to worry about where the hell the rest of the bottle won't go. <coughs> oh, coronavirus. I'm gonna do a lipstick so it can last all night. Cause I'll bring a glass with me too, just in case. <coughs> I thought it was very dry. Wow. No good, no good. <coughs> Stay home. That's it for the face, y'all. Let me get ready and uh, I'll see y'all later. Hey gems. Um, it has actually been a couple of days since I picked you guys up. I have just been enjoying life, spending time by myself. <laughs> um, this is the last thing I did with y'all. Oh my god! Oh, okay. So I went out for a solo dinner, impromptu solo dinner. And y'all, it was so good. Such a good experience. I'm so glad I went. The food, the vibes that I give myself, like it was just top tier. Like top tier all across the board. I um I had the lobster egg rolls and I had the cucumber tomato salad and it came with feta cheese. And I'm not I'm not even really a feta cheese kind of girl, but that that's how she was in. Girl, I tell y'all, I scraped both plates clean. Maybe scraped both plates clean. <laughs> it was so good. And then I had the peri peri chicken. I was like, yo, is Nando's South African? Because I was like, this is an upscale Nando's. Like, that peri peri chicken, baby, was peri peri. Okay, it was so good. Um, I ended up taking most of it home because I did have like two full appetizers. <laughs> And I ordered a bottle of champagne. Uh, and then I also had, they had flan for dessert, which I was kind of surprised. I was like, is it flan like a Hispanic dessert? And so I started doing some research and I think they also make it. It was very light research. Like I just did a quick Google and didn't actually click on anything. But I feel like I saw a couple like coconut based flan recipes from like South African recipe sites. So that was just very interesting. And then I had like this milkshake dessert. Ah, Don Pedro. Dang, what is it called? I completely forgot. It was so good. Yo, I haven't had like a milkshake type beverage 
in years. Y'all know I'm like because I'm taller, right? <laughs> Y'all know I will test the limits with dairy, cheese, cream based salt. Like, baby, I don't know what it is, but something about straight milk and milkshakes just terrify me. Like, when I tell y'all I will not do it, I will not do it. I don't know. And so when I ordered the milkshake, I was like, yo, like, I'm kind of walling right now. But that and I just feel like milkshakes would be super sweet, like ridiculously sweet. But it was really good. And I say, baby, if I die, it's worth it. Luckily, I didn't die. So, um, but yeah, overall, it was like, it was a nice time. Got dressed up, got cute, threw my heels, and I went and took myself to dinner. And had me a grand old time. A grand all the time. <laughs> so I'm so glad that I went. Um, yeah, I just pretty much been in the house for the most part. Working, um, cleaning. Like, I, this is adulthood. Like, this crap is so. I was up this morning cleaning. And somehow the kitchen is a whole mess again. And now I'm still up cleaning. Ha! Huh, my God. My God. What is this life? It's actually too much for me. Like, I was up cleaning. It took me forever to finally, well, not that it took me forever, but it didn't take me forever. And I don't know why, this has past taking me so long, like. <laughs> um, so by the time I edited my vlog, half the day felt like it was gone. And editing vlogs itself was a whole day project. So I thought I was gonna have time to film after I was editing, or after I was done editing. Hey, you know, that is not the case. But somehow still, my kitchen is a mess. I don't know how it happened. Um, well, I did unpack a whole bunch of packages that I picked up over the weekend, but I have more packages downstairs that I need to pick up. Um, I'm gonna do like a little shoot tomorrow. And so I'm trying to do all of my Instagram photos on my camera now, um, just to have like quality, you know? Um, quality the way I like it and I ordered extra batteries because I don't have like extra stuff for my M50 because I usually do like sit down videos with that and I have like the plug-in battery for that one so I'm gonna be taking pictures of stuff out and about I'm gonna need like a real battery so that I can take my camera everywhere with me so I've been dreading that because I don't want to leave my apartment <laughs> I gotta put on real clothes to go outside. That's the thing about outside. Like, if I could just go downstairs in my robe, I would feel so much differently about it. <laughs> I really would. <sighs> Alas, I cannot let you know what Jamima be grateful because some people have to leave their entire homes. And if they put six of your box, that would be your life right now. But it's right downstairs. It is right downstairs. <sighs> it's all the way downstairs. <laughs> Um, so I was looking like, maybe I'll do that tomorrow morning and I'll just charge it. <laughs> no, Jamima, be better. Do want better for yourself, you know? <sighs> um, yeah, so, dang, every time I feel like I'm done washing dishes, I'm not, like, what's tea? All right. Um, I made me a little green shake. Try to anyways, I just, my taste buds are so finicky. Like, I just can't. I can't drink stuff that's nasty just because it's good for me. Y'all, I'm struggling. I was like, what is happening to me? I need to, like, love green juices and stuff. Well, let me not say I don't love green juices anymore. I think it's just the ones that I've tried so far. And it's just not, it's not passing the vibe test. And I'm just like, you know what? <sighs> At this point, I'm about two, two seconds away from just paying somebody to make fresh pressed juice for me every, every couple of days. Like, cause I, I'm really over it. Like I can't, like maybe like a really concentrated green juice so I can just like filter it out and make my own like diluted version. I don't know. There's this like herb. Oh. There's this herb and holistic, holistic uh, store that I saw 
a couple weeks back and I think I want to go and just kind of look around and see like what I can integrate into my day-to-day -day life like I know people talk a lot a lot about like sea moss and stuff like that um but I mean you ask people about sea moss and they can't even tell you why they're taking it like what's tea I feel like if you're drinking something consuming something you better know why and what it does like I don't want to and that's why I didn't want to try it for so long because I feel like it was kind of just like a, a blind follow. And of course, I could take the time to do research, but I didn't take the time to do the research. So I'm like, I'm not putting nothing in my mouth just because everybody else is doing it and I don't know what it's doing to me. You only do that for stuff that make you feel good, okay? <laughs> you shouldn't do it at all, actually. Take it back to me, Ma. Okay, um, let me wash this goddamn last bowl. Y'all, I'm sitting here procrastinating. Wash the ball, Jamima. <sighs> do, 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 do. <laughs> um, just wash it. Okay. I'm gonna wash the bowl. I'm gonna put on. I really wanna go downstairs in my room. And if it was like midnight, maybe, I would like try and force it but i'm trying to be sleep okay slumped by midnight it is 9 52 right now so i'm trying to wind down for the night okay this is it i think i should make some tea jimmy muck doing too much no put some clothes on that's it put some clothes on but i said get your package charge the batteries and then brush your teeth go to bed like that's it jimmy but that's a night routine you over here trying to find more stuff to do girl go to bed I'm like tomorrow's gonna be a lot. I'm not even done packing up my stuff. I was planning 12 outfits. Pray for me. Pray for me. That's not gonna happen, probably, because I haven't even tried on any outfits. I haven't assembled whole outfits. I just have like pieces like a dress here or like shorts here. Like I have ideas of outfits, but today drains me. So I'm gonna just take everything with me tomorrow and figure it out from there. Cause baby, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. I am so tired. Actually, I'm just not even gonna be on this outfit. I'm gonna just take like maybe six or seven, and next enough, <laughs> enough for the next couple of weeks, and then um, I just do this again in a couple of weeks. Cause I'm just. Oh shoot! Actually, I should be slow, but no, cause then it's gonna be fall anyway. <laughs> you know what? It's too much. It's too much. Oh. Um, I'll supposed to have a video go up tomorrow. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna push that another day so that tomorrow morning I can prep and be out. Um, so I can just be down. That gives me like three hours to get my stuff together, plan my outfits, do my makeup, and be out the door. That's assuming I'm of the rest of the outfits, because one thing about me, actually, don't no, not say that. I've only snoozed a couple times. Uh, sometimes when I snooze, my brain is like, oh, that means we're about to sleep forever. I don't think he had the snooze alarm. So I try to avoid it. With the other six, girl. So no gym for me tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. They struggle. I'm not gonna take y'all either, cause y'all, it's too much pressure trying to do everything I want. It is. And um, I'm learning to be okay with neglecting some things. Cause that's just what it is. Like I can't do everything at 100. And I feel like today is the first like real realization that all of these goals that I have, it's just the reason why I've never been able to get them is because it's not realistic. And I keep saying, oh, I just need better time management. First of all, if I'm really being honest, I really have pretty good time management. Like, I really get it good. And for me to have the time management that I keep wanting in my mind, I would literally be working 24 seven. And who wants to do that? Like, sometimes I feel like, let me not say something I feel like, low key, my, my self-worth is, tied to my productivity 
and into my results and into the lifestyle that I can create and maintain for me and my family. And so it's just like, and I, I, I feel like that's partially because I achieved certain things so late in life because of like different circumstances. Um, and so for one, I felt like I was always playing catch up, always trying to like prove that, okay, I was late doing this, but you know, finally I was still able to get to a certain place. But now that I'm here, I'm like, I need to keep going. And while I'm still here for keeping going, like one day I'm just grinding me. Like that's just me, but it's also like, Jane, relax, like calm down, bro. Like it's really not that deep. It's deep, but it's not that deep, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all may know. Cause your man is not that, okay. To me, like you <laughs> in people's business. Like you out somebody, you got a man talking about uh, shut up, <laughs> girl. You all crack these jokes. <laughs> jokes on you. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not because I'm stress free. <laughs> shut up. All right. Now I'm about to wipe down this damn counter table. Every time I feel like I wipe it down, I reach somewhere, I see some. <sighs> wipe this table down. Go. Go downstairs, you need to put some clothes on. Go downstairs, that's it. That's it. It's right downstairs. And call it a night. So it was nice talking to y'all. I'm gonna procrastinate for 18 more minutes and then go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I look insane, like positively insane. I am bleaching my hair per usual. Scalp burning per use. Cause I've been scratching my head per use. <laughs> like I love rubbing on my scalp. What am I gonna do? But anyways, today was a really good day. Um, I got a lot of work done this morning. Like first thing in the morning, I said I'm not even going to the gym. So as I wake up, I'm getting to work. And your girl did just that because I had lunch plans. Um, met a fellow influencer on the gram side, um, and it was, it was really nice. It was nice meeting in person because we chit chatted online on Instagram. And, um, yeah, so she, re she relocated to the area and reached out, said she wanted to have lunch. And of course, y'all know I'm down. And we had a cute little key. It was definitely a vibe. Um, I have a little bit of footage, so I'll just like add it right here. Decorate. Yes. Girl, the only thing is. Oh, God. Don't tell you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and go away. I'm not gonna be back in the stay. So maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. not gonna happen so even if you're asking even even if you're asking cause i do what i do and it's time for something new
But I thoroughly, thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Um, got home. I try to get my work done, y'all, but I am struggling. I am struggling. I was out a little longer. Not my bad. Not me put the laptop in your face. But I was out um, a little longer than I thought I would be. And I was really tired when I got back. So, um, yeah, I just had to work on some emails. I was hoping to edit a video when I got back home. That's not happening. Because by the time it exports, and that's really my issue is the exporting. Final Cut Pro takes so long. By the time that video exported and I actually got it into YouTube to then go through the checks and all that, it would never have been up tonight. So I said, you know what? I'm tired of fighting it, like for real. Um, if I just miss an upload, I'm just going to make it up on a weekend. Um, even though I said I'm trying not to work on weekends, but if I'm going to have free time this evening, I want to be out and kicking. I just make it up on a weekend. Um, yeah, so I just need to send some of these emails out. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be another early morning. I'm just really trying to knock out as much, <laughs> where's my English? I'm just really trying to knock out as much work as possible in the next like day or two because my period is coming like any day now. And I just, I want to be able to just kind of like die in peace, you know? Um, yeah, I don't want to have to worry about like filming and stuff like that. I do have a lot of editing to get done. Like, yo, I've been filming reels, TikToks, all that stuff, YouTube videos. I've been filming so much and taking pictures and photo shoots. So I have all this content, but now who's going to edit it? <laughs> Who's gonna edit it? But the good thing about it is that um, I can edit from bed, you know? Do I want to? Absolutely not. I actually haven't done that in a long time. Um, I've been really good about actually sitting at my desk. I also feel more productive that way because anytime I'm in my bed, I just wanna fall asleep. Like, it's like instantaneous. The second I'm on my bed, <laughs> that bed is so damn juicy. Oh, especially, especially since I hooked it up. Baby, when I tell you, it's a goddamn cloud. Ugh. Y'all, my bed is a vibe now, okay? But yeah, so I was really hoping my period would just come so I just get it over with because, you know, I've been invited to participate in some festivities this weekend and I would like to do so. I would really like to do so. And so I'm just like, bruh, this don't even here yet. <laughs> Which means when it hits for real, it's gonna be during the weekend ruin my plans like if it had came today like i was hoping it would i could have probably finessed this mm. probably finessed this weekend but um yeah anyways we shall see we shall see um wow y'all it's 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 fall i don't care i don't care what nobody says it is fall. <laughs> I said that real aggressive, but it is, y'all. Like, it's real life fall. I love that. And the thing is, people are just like, okay, let's get ready for fall content. I'm still taking baby bathing suit pictures. Like, <laughs> vacation is all year long. <laughs> Listen, what about me? I'm going to take a swimsuit uh, photo. I'll be trying to chill, y'all. Because, like I said, this, I. I'm a little scared to draw too much of a male gaze that isn't there genuinely for me. I just kind of want to like want to creep, um, but I love a little thirst trap. Not that there are thirst traps, but you know, I do love a thirst trap. I just can't post them the way I really want to. But anyways, um, 
yeah, I just have to figure out what my life is given right now. Let me see. I thought I was supposed to come already. Oh, it says in two days, which means it could really come at any time. <laughs> two days. Oh, uh, that's a joke. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I think this weekend is washed. Oh, I was really hoping I could do something this weekend, y'all. But that weekend is washed. All right. Well. <sighs> Anyways. Um. If you're wondering, I am not nude. I got a lot of coconut oil on my neck right now from basing my scalp. So I got something on. <laughs> I'm sitting on a dress on a chair. So does that count? I think it does. Um, also really random, Tiger Wing Sauce is really that girl. And I'm so upset that I didn't try it before now in this era of my life like it is so good it is so good oh and i went to walmart i bought some i went to walmart to see like what's up with the pumpkin candles because i tried to do a walmart delivery and it was not giving like it was not giving so i said let me go in store and see like you can't tell me walmart has nothing with pumpkin in it lo and behold they did it's just a lot of new pumpkin fragrances and i'm not a fan I'm not a fan at all. I actually did a Target delivery and they, they got it right. But it's more expensive. I don't like that. I missed my $5 full-size candles last me three weeks burning all day 24-7. <sighs> like I have a candle burning right now. It's supposed to smell like Baccarat-ish. It kind of did smell it in store, but here it's, it's faint. It's faint, but it's not like the smells aren't wafting in the room. And it was $15. Like, you want to be Bath & Bog Works so bad. And I'm like, dang. I might return the second one because Walmart is really letting me down this season. And I don't like that. That's my go-to, y'all. That's my go-to. And also, I forgot I had gotten this in a package from Necessaire. And it's the deodorant gel. Um... Because one, I noticed that putting perfume under my armpits um, helps with odor. And at first I was like, maybe the perfume is masking it, but I think it's the alcohol in the perfume. And I was like, oh. Because it was during the time when I was like really dealing with my, um, my allergy, my allergic reaction. And I didn't want to put deodorant on. And I was getting a little... A little twang so i said let me just put a little perfume like you know um and i just at first i was just trying to like mask myself to make sure like there's no complaints when i go out but then i was like i don't smell anything at all like hmm. um and so today i did the same thing all i did was put a little perfume underneath my armpit and i went out i've been out all day like absolutely nothing and i'm not drenching myself in perfume either i'm just like a spritz maybe a spritz and a half maybe two max and i'm not even like up and close it's just like shh, general area all right it's not 1000 <laughs> percent. it's not 100 percent. but for somebody that the last micro deodorant on was yesterday morning last night i'm a lie i'm a whole lie last night because i went to walmart came home washed my armpits but you know what that is great for me because i was outside i was hot and sweating i was out and about no deodorant on and let me tell you something about me like i love i love me do you look like i love me and but i know me and one thing about me if i let things go i'm gonna be Bonky. I'm finna be bon <laughs> bonky. Okay, my pits. That's why I can't use like any little deodorant. Like I'm very particular about what deodorant I use. And that's why I was so hyped when I was just in Lumi. Like I have a natural deodorant that actually works. I was so hyped. Y'all I mean y'all know how hype I was. I was telling everybody, mama, Lumi, Lumi, it smells like spit, but they ain't gonna do me, you know? And they did. They tried me all the way. Poor armpits. Um, 
So for me to go a full day, went outside, was out and about for hours sweating. And I'm just like slightly off. Like you could be right here next to me and I can move my arm and you wouldn't smell it. Like you're just giving like a little bit of perfume and like a little bit of like natural. I would never wear deodorant again. Let me think about this. Because if I can just, well, the whole, the whole, <laughs> the whole point of this speech was to say that I wanted to give this a try. Baby, not me losing track of the reason I started the conversation to begin with. Y'all, I'm like, I'm a little shook. Cause, yo, I would say I'm at a like a 95. 90 is pushing it. But I will say, I'm, I'm going to say 90 just to be generous. But for me, a whole day, 24 hours, no deodorant, and I went outside and sweat. Y'all, like that's a big deal. And I'm like, it has to be the, um, the alcohol and the perfume. Because what else could it be? I'm like, hey, ain't no perfume masking funk. Like it'll blend in. But it's not going to mask it, especially if it's, like, ripe, honey. But y'all, like, I'm sorry. Can, can y'all stop watching me sniff my armpits? Thank you. Y'all, I may really never wear deodorant again. I'm going to keep trying this. I'm going to keep trying it to see how it holds up. There's no, this is a hundred, period. This is at a hundred. Okay, this is a 95. <laughs> All right, this is a 95, this is a 93. <laughs> but you see how deep up in that thing and how much of an inhale I had to get just to get something. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it up. Cause I'm like, it didn't burn or nothing. Like my pitch seemed fine. So I'm gonna give it some time to see and play it out. Now I'm just like, do I even want to try this? The reason I'm scared is because, um, certain acids and active ingredients make my HS flare up. Um, like, uh, I noticed that retinol can cause my HS to flare up. Um, and I found out using the old lay body wash and retinol, but I'm like, dang, retinol is so great for like cell turnover. So I would only use that body wash on like my legs and stuff or like my thighs, my cheeks. Ooh, I love my cheeks are soft, y'all. Like it's just real grabbable. Yeah. So while I was using it on other parts of my body, it just HS and that retinol did not pair well together. So I'm a little scared because it that's my armpits don't usually flare up. It's just when I use certain products, you know. Other than that, it's fine, which is a hot mess because because I've used a few products there and I did have flare-ups, I now have scars, but I can't use anything to help treat the discoloration because it will flare up. So this is a risk, but I'm going to try it because I need to find something. Like, I'm really tired of the scars. And the only thing is just like, you know, I've had great results with Necessary so far, so I'm hoping this will continue. I'm hoping this will match the vibes. And yeah, but y'all like perfume as deodorant. Who would have thought that works for me? Me? Funky Jamima? Me? I, I could not go outside and spend day no deodorant, y'all. Like outside and sweat and still like smell good? I'm shooketh. But yeah, that was uh, my day today. I didn't even realize it until now. Thank <laughs> you.